Rosoboron Export and Russian Helicopters are presenting the K-52, a new generation scout attack helicopter. The K-52 day-night all-weather scout attack helicopter is designed to destroy enemy tanks, armored vehicles, and soft skin military equipment, manpower and helicopters at the forward edge of the battle area and in the tactical depth, as well as to provide target reconnaissance, target assignment and target designation for cooperating helicopters and army command posts. Its power plant includes two powerful VK2500 engines rated at 2400 HP each. The helicopter uses a high-performance coaxial rotor. An important feature of the K-52 is the absence of the tail rotor, which significantly improves the efficiency of helicopter control and flight safety. The absence of power consumption by the tail rotor, combined with a high-performance rotor, gives the K-52 a 20 to 25 percent advantage in thrust-to-weight ratio over all known attack helicopters in the world. As a result, the K-52 offers unparalleled maneuverability and an unprecedented hover ceiling out of the ground effect of around 4,000 meters, which exceeds the hover ceiling of all known attack helicopters around the world by an average of 800-1,000 meters. The service ceiling of the K-52 is at least 5,500 meters. Stores are mounted on six hard points. Increased maximum weapon load and longer maximum flight range with maximum weapon load are the competitive advantages of the K-52 over other attack helicopters. The airborne reconnaissance and target designation system includes electro-optical surveillance and sighting system and onboard radar capable of detecting and recognizing typical ground targets and determining their location around the clock and in any weather, as well as onboard communications system that provides air-to-air -air communications and transmission of reconnaissance data to command centers as well as to airborne and land systems cooperating with the helicopter. Operating experience suggests that side-by-side -side layout of pilots in the K-52's cockpit is most appropriate to conduct reconnaissance missions. The shared use of information coming from radar, electro-optical systems and navigation aids by the two pilots simultaneously reduces the search time and improves target recognition reliability. When an emergency landing of the helicopter is impossible, a crew ejection system is a reliable means to save lives of the pilots. Both crew members are ejected simultaneously. In this case, helicopter rotor blades and cockpit canopies are first jettisoned automatically and then rocket ejection units are activated. Ejection is provided throughout the entire flight altitude range of the helicopter, including at the zero altitude. When the helicopter conducts regular flights in isolation from its main base, it requires no test equipment, ground support or special aircraft equipment for its maintenance. In case of self-contained basing for two weeks, maintenance can be done by the helicopter crew. The K-52 accommodates a built-in performance monitoring system, an independent power supply source, the TA-14 power unit, and mechanical systems for weapons suspension built in the helicopter wing. The K-52 is designed for operation in desert, tropics, mountain conditions and at sea, in the range of ambient air temperature, from 50 degrees Celsius minus to 50 degrees Celsius plus, and at relative humidity of 95-98%. An important feature distinguishing the K-52 from other attack helicopters is its out-of-hangar operation. It has outdoor storage and service, without any shelters using only covers and standard blanks. Its avionics suit 
has been developed using the most advanced digital data processing and data exchange technologies and combines high-precision inertial satellite and radio navigation systems, digital helicopter navigation automation system, a set of reconnaissance aids including target search and track electro-optical and radar systems, as well as an onboard communications and data transfer system, weapons management system and helicopter self-defense suit. The open systems architecture of the avionics suit makes it possible to include some systems into it, both as an option and instead of existing ones. The avionics suit gives the helicopter the round-the-clock combat capability. Pilots fly the helicopter at night wearing night vision goggles, using an infrared illuminator, thermal imaging and radar terrain mapping on the basis of data surveillance system and digital terrain maps. The crew carries out search, target acquisition and aimed firing at night using an onboard radar, a day-night surveillance and sighting system, as well as external designation data. The GOES-451 day-night electro-optical surveillance and silent system includes TV search and sighting channel, thermal search and sighting channel, laser targeting channels for Vihar and attacker-type guided missiles, laser rangefinder, target illuminator. The main modes of the Ka-52 surveillance and fire control radar are low-altitude flight mode to detect obstacles in the flight direction around the clock and in any weather in order to avoid or fly around them during a low-altitude flight. Mapping mode – mapping of the terrain, finding the position of the ground targets and navigation points to ensure helicopter navigation in a real tactical environment, as well as meteor mode to determine the moisture target boundaries. Airborne communications and data transfer system – it provides telephone and radio communications and data exchange with cooperating airplanes, helicopters and ground control posts. Data transfer equipment transmits navigation data, target data and other tactical situation data generated by the helicopter's onboard reconnaissance set in digital format from the helicopter to ground and air subscribers. The Breeze broadband radio channel transmits tactical video from the helicopter to ground subscribers. The helicopter's electro-optical countermeasure system is designed to protect it from engagement by surface-to-air missile SAM systems, including manpads and anti-aircraft artillery systems by detecting the threats and using countermeasures against attacking weapons. The helicopter is equipped with powerful modern weapons, movable 30mm 2A41 cannon for 160 rounds, S8COM unguided rockets with heat fragmentation warheads up to 80. Vihur and attacker type air to surface missiles. Up to 12 such missiles can be installed on board the K 52 helicopter. Igla S air to air guided missiles, up to four. To date, the K-52 is unrivaled in mix of armaments and their firepower. The effective firing range of its cannon and unguided rockets exceeds the similar indicator all known attack helicopters in the world. By 800-1000 meters, the range of Fihur anti-tank guided missile is still unsurpassed and is at least 10 kilometers. The Vihar missile flies at 600 meters per second and is superior to all known anti-tank heliborne missiles in speed in its class. The K-52 helicopter 
has no equal in conducting operations in the mountains due to its unmatched operational altitude and unique maneuverability. Its high thrust-to-weight ratio provides effectiveness in hot climates. The uniqueness of the helicopter is also in its versatility in performing both reconnaissance and strike missions. The helicopter is unique for its universal in both reconnaissance and attack missions. Its capability to save the crew from any emergency, fly in any weather and climate, as well as self-containment and out-of-hangar storage, continue the best traditions of the Russian helicopter industry. And moreover, we enter the new age with new technology to unveil a world of new capabilities for you.